Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be going through Shiba Coin and Bitcoin, going over how I am currently trading these assets and what I am looking for next as the target. Ladies and gentlemen, I approach you in this video with a really big smile on my face. Honestly, I am super happy with how the trades are going right now. And like I say, I'm almost as excited to make this video as I am for the trades, probably more so in terms of the emotions. I am really, really, really happy to bring you this video today. Obviously gave you the uh, poll over on Twitter. What do you want to see next? Shiba, Bitcoin or over 300 likes. And I'll give you both. And here we are today going through both of them. Oh, I think this video today you're going to want to. It's going to be a bit of a lengthy video, I imagine. Maybe the half an hour mark. But you're going to learn so much. You are going to learn so much. OK, so I urge you to pay attention to all of this video as best as you can. Maybe make some notes along the way. And just enjoy it. Enjoy it. Have a smile on your face with me now. Just just appreciate what we're going to be going through here. Get out your notepads, write some notes, enjoy the video. And we're going to be going through Shiba and Bitcoin. The trades here are special. The trades are very special. And I am I, I feel blessed to be able to share this with you, to be honest. So without further said ado, uh, we're going to start not with Bitcoin. We'll, we'll do Bitcoin second, starting with Shiba coin and obviously that triangle. Oh, right. Let's go. Let's go into our professional serious mode. So obviously it's really, really, really important. Um, my style of videos, I love to do the education. OK, so I want to teach you how to not get wrecked in this market. OK, many people uh, are going to do videos to, I don't know, X, Y and Z reasons. My videos are here to educate and help empower yourself yeah, so you can learn to do what I'm doing. So before I get over to what's happening right now on Shiba and how I'm trading this, of course, I want to cover how we got to this position in the first place, because this is really, really important to how we're trading it now. OK, for the people that don't know, I think everybody knows this, but I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that obviously Shiba Inu coin was first found by myself almost one year ago at 0 0.000000000001, the absolute, 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 absolute low. It couldn't have gone any lower. Literally, it was the absolute low. And obviously, this is when myself and a few others in the group were buying Shiba coin, obviously buying billions, trillions of Shiba, because it was literally, a, it was, we got very lucky. What can we say? I will openly admit we got lucky. We obviously saw well, over that now, but, you know, at the, at the all time, I obviously uh, nearly 80 million percent gains. So this is a coin I hold dear to my heart because it's the biggest trade ever, period you know, 80 million percent gains. And also because, you know, I have made other people, random people in the group, like millions of dollars. Um, so well done for them. And of course, it was a gamble, but it was a gamble that paid off. And here we are today. So obviously, I ha have been and still remain, to be honest with you, bullish on Shiba coin. I do ex, you know, I'm still holding some of the spot I originally had. I'm still holding longs on Shiba coin, by the way. And I know that we have dropped really heavily. And obviously, I know that I have been shorting Shiba coin, but it's all part of a bigger plan. Yeah. So with the backstory out of the way and how we done extremely well, obviously, and myself on Shiba buying that back in the start of the year, obviously, as a gamble, but a gamble that paid off. How have we got to this point on Shiba? Where are the levels we're bouncing from and what's going on next? OK, so I want to talk you through this particular drop here and the rise. OK, so this particular drop, what happened here? OK, what was the technical reason for this? Obviously, we can see prior to the break here, we were within a descending triangle. At this moment in time, we were seeing a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, new short positions opening to get this type of data. Obviously, you can be on exocharts, at as you could just need something to look at order flow. Uh, again, this is quite advanced topic. It is not a beginner topic. I don't, I'm not going to go too much into detail, but it's basically using order flow. You can see how many people are long and how many people are short. And, and on this drop, we were obviously seeing lots and lots of shorts opening on Shiba. OK, so it's kind of a thought process. Well, this was my thought process uh, on Sunday. So this is on a Sunday champions live stream. Obviously, this is for my group. I was looking at Shiba for a potential trade of the week. And what I wanted to see on Shiba coin was a break of the triangle to the upside. 
okay? Why? Because then the early shorts are going to get stopped out. People are going to go back into longs. And then what I wanted to see was a simple move below the triangle, a move back up to retest, another move back down, and then a rise. So you can see it's kind of a three steps. Move, step number one, break the triangle. Step number two, break below. Step number three, retest the triangle. And I suppose step number four, drop. And then step number five, rise. Actually, there's five steps in it. Again, you have to remember these. this is like 50% drops. So although it doesn't look a lot here, there's this massive percentage moves. Okay, as we all know, we, we've done that prediction correct and we got the break above the triangle. Okay, so we'd seen the break above the triangle. Now we're looking for the drop, rise, drop, and then the rise. Okay, so first of all, the first thing that you need to write down is making a plan. If you are not prepared for this rise, for the fake out and then the drop, you're going to lose money, period. Okay. And then when it actually breaks, well, you need to obviously be prepared to actually trade, trade that. Okay. So you can see here, it actually went pretty well. There was the break. That was the first break high made. And you can actually see here that continuously this high was not taken out. And the whole way down, this was walked down completely. You can see here, I'm going to zoom in again. Lower high, lower high, just continuously bearish market structure, continuously bearish market structure, continuous pressure. There was no opportunity for longs in all of this retracement. I actually wrote this in my champions group yesterday while we were at the lows. I've taken no longs on Shiba in 72 hours. This was obviously yesterday morning. No longs in 72 hours. Why? Because it's all part of the bigger plan of what we're going for here. We want to see a bigger drop before the rise. OK, this was quite an interesting statistic, <laughs> but um, trading volume from us was that's 280 million, by the way, 280 million of all shorts on Shiba. And by the way, for a little bit of a fact, the daily volume of this coin was only it was about 600 million. OK, so we're talking three days ago of that walk down of the walk down of price. <laughs> nearly half of the trading volume for us from our shorts, which is just absolutely hilarious when you think about this. But <laughs> I mean, it's kind of actually very funny, but basically half the trading volume was from uh, Shiba shorts from us. And the other half, I suppose, is people longing prematurely. Um, pfft, yeah, I mean, what, what can I say about that? <laughs> G G C C Paul send their regards. But overall, obviously, uh, I had my short positions, walking price down for the overall plan of looking to take the low of those triangles. As we all know by now, of course, that happened. We took the low of the triangle. We took the low of the triangle. We got the retest. And now we're looking for another drop. I alert my team very simply. You can see here 11 a.m. yesterday before the extreme drop that we had. Hey, Shiba has lost the triangle. It's retested it as resistance. And now I'm looking to take the lows once more. OK, done a few other updates, as you can see here on the right hand side. We've been we, wait, we have been waiting for the Shiba drop since Sunday, obviously from the Champions live stream. We've been waiting for this drop. It's all going exactly as predicted. All we've done is lost the triangle, back test it. And now we need to wait for the other drop. Why? Because it's all part of the bigger plan of break the triangle, drop, rise and then drop once more for the for the for the rise. OK, so it's all coming down to having this plan. Are you, I am the dip. <laughs> and obviously then just 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 being patient, yeah, taking a bit of patience, taking a bit of care. And now I will show you something that's absolutely outstanding, uh, which I do think is going to going to blow your mind. Um, the, the level that we're coming down to for this next move to the downside. OK, so this was the retest. We're waiting for the drop to one more time. OK, you can see that we see quite a violent drop to the downside here. Quite violent, quite quick. And where where did we bounce off of? Well, I'm going to take a few minutes to explain this carefully to you. First of all, I want to remind you that we actually gave you the level that we bounced off of uh, one and a half hours before it hit. And you could have found out this level by coming over to the community tab on our, on our YouTube for absolute free. Remember this, absolute free. Seen the post that we done here talking about Shiba coin. OK, and you would have seen that we actually gave you the realistic level of four thousand four hundred on Shiba coin. OK, this is, again, absolutely free. This was given on a community post. If you had remembered to check that yesterday, just an FYI. 
But what was that at that level? As I posted here on, on Twitter, one level, one trade, one hope. That, of course, is that CC level. I'm going to go in more depth to explain this to you. But this was obviously our CC level at that, basically around that 4,400 level. Okay. So you can see a zoomed in view of the level that we are aware of here. Okay. I just want to do something really interesting to show you, by the way, that during that drop, okay, so while we're dropping down, this is a viewpoint of the 15 second chart. And just to show you the power of technical analysis, that 15 second chart rises, you can see here, you can take sculpts and trade these 15 second charts. Okay. And I mean, just look at the respect. Okay, straight into the CC. And this is a CC with the SR flip. So you have a support, support flipping into resistance into the CC. Um, again, if you're using your order flow on this, which you now have order flow uh, available on Shiba Coin, Trading Assistant has actually done a lot of daily updates showing you the order flow on Shiba Coin. And again, 15 second chart and the levels are being respected absolutely perfectly. Just, just something to be aware of. Like that's powerful now every time frame every time frame um you can trade it 15 second chart up to the you know 15 day chart <laughs> every time frame every asset perfect anyway i bring you back to that cc that we were looking for okay we're ready and waiting for that drop as soon as we had lost back tested we've got the level that we're waiting for okay and that is obviously that cc one level one trade one hope so to speak very important level of support and what happens we come down and we hit that level it's time it's the one level that we've been waiting for and we, we, we all know what happens here we hit the level we get our first mini reaction and well yeah we see obviously actually in the end a bigger run than this at 25 percent bounce to the upside i want to show you the confluence that we had here and i do think it's going to blow your mind i i, I do so you see here, I'm taking, originally you all know I had an Elliott wave count of one, two, three. Obviously I'm looking for wave four, five. Okay, this is why, although I did sell some of my spot Shiba, which I bought a long time ago, I'm, I'm still holding some of it because I am still expecting higher. I might be wrong on this, don't get me wrong. I, I could be wrong and we don't put another high in. But the reason why I didn't sell all my Shiba is because I do think that we can still get a wave five upwards okay if i'm wrong on this again i'm, I'm still selling my shiba for, for a lot of profit but obviously not as much as i could have had but i still hold my shiba and um those shorts that i took by the way i closed so i had a short as you saw um when i was saying that i am the dip that short by the way is literally at the all-time high and then obviously i had taken shorts all the way down here running price down running price down running price down i closed all of my shorts by the way and i'm going to show you why and this is going to be amazing to to see so going back to the elliott wave count one two three looking for wave four up for the fifth so i want to show you something special here I'm going to first show you the uh, CC Fibonacci retracement, obviously from the low here up to the all-time high. There is our one-to-one, -one, I'm sorry, there is our CC Fibonacci retracement. And then I want to show you the confluence. I will always say I don't long without confluence. So let's see the absolute perfect confluence then. If we're looking at this as an ABC retracement, look at this. Fibonacci from the all-time high. This is the Fibonacci expansion, extension tool. So from the all-time high, down to the low that was made, up to the break of our triangle. You all know I actually had a short from here after a swing failure pattern. And then I had my next shorts running it down from here. So I'm taking my Fibonacci extension from the high to the low to the next high. Okay, from the places I've been trading. And I want to show you this absolute perfect confluence. That is the one-to-one -one extension on the low of the CC. For a one-to-one, -one, you know, this is Elliott wave theory, but we're looking for the wave forward retracement at the CC on top of an ABC on the one-to-one. -one. So this is what I mean. Is this a random bounce? No, it's definitely not random. This is this is really, really, really strong level. Yeah, one-to-one -one extension on the CC. Yeah, on the CC on resistance flipping into support. So is there any surprise that we bounce? 25% in a few hours. No. Uh, for me, as soon as we had hit that um, CC support level, I 
fully closed my Shiba shorts, fully closed all my shorts, and obviously had went into a scalp long position because this is a this is a crazy big level of support. Yeah, we have major, major, major confluence. And this is what I will go back and say. Could we drop from here lower? Could we do this and just like plunge off? You know, of course we could. But what I'm saying is this is such a major, major level of support. And it's such a precise level that I have been waiting for since the original drop. This is not a random level. This is the exact level I've been waiting for. It's the exact level we had actually alerted for you for two hours before it dropped for free. <laughs> uh, you know, this is not a random level. It's a very, very strong level of support. So, of course, I'm not hesitating when I'm closing all my shorts here. No hesitation. All of those shorts closed. All of them. And I also took a long simultaneously. We obviously bounced 25% to the upside. Okay, so you see this. Okay, I'm going to take the price tool. Okay, from the low of the move up to the high here. You can see about 25, 20, 25 ish percent. Okay, it's a crazy big percentage, massive percentage. We come down here now on a lower term time frame. I'm also now going to show you the, the reason why we rejected from where we did. Okay, as I again, I, I do my updates first in, in, a, in the group. For me, this was a very sensible take profit zone, as you can see. Sensible take profit. Surprise, surprise, it actually was the high of the bounce. <laughs> There was the 25%, 23% bounce to the upside. Then I'm telling my team now is the sensible take profit one zone. And well, we're, we actually retraced nearly 15% of this, by the way. But what was this sensible take profit zone? Well, look at this. Remember how I was showing you on the 15 second chart, CC into SR? Well, look at this. Support, support. It flipped into resistance on and around that CC zone. Okay, the CC is actually a little bit higher, sorry. But nevertheless, this we, we were coming into that zone of the CC resistance on the support flipping into resistance. So whether, again, I want to emphasize whether it's the 15 second or here on the, the five minute or, or up to the daily chart, it doesn't matter. These levels are extremely well respected. Is it because I'm trading them? <laughs> Maybe, but <laughs> because people love to say that, hey, this only works because you trade. But no, seriously, like these levels are just insane. Like even on assets that I'm not trading, they're, they're strong levels, yeah? And so that was the reason why we rejected here and why we pulled back. And obviously now I foresee us forming another triangle before we either break to the downside of this or we can rally up higher. But currently I need to emphasize one really big time this is very big support, okay, at that 4,400. If we drop below 4,400, well, I foresee our next support actually around the, again, I'm not going to repeat all these zeros. I'm just going to refer to it as 3,000, okay? That for me would be the next level of support. Again, this is a very, 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 very big drop. You would have to be hedged, okay? We have 3,000. Why 3,000? Well, it's again, you know, you can keep it really simple on these type of assets. We have around this resistance support. Again, this could be our next support zone at around 3,000. If we lose that, then yeah, we're going to be looking towards that 1618 extension. You see, I've got my alert set on this of around 2,000 SATs. So, of course, you need to be cautious because let's say worst case scenario. So, well, worst case is there's not really a worst case. We're prepared for everything. But let's say the case of a drop. This is another sixty percent potentially drop to the downside. You cannot be, you cannot be just holding on to something and seeing such drastic gain. You know, some people have made loads of money on this. This is why I was also keen to short this. Firstly, well, because I actually wanted to see a drop. Yeah, my whole plan on Sunday's live stream was for a drop. So this is the reason why I was shorting. Because I'm overall expecting higher, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to short the asset. Okay, especially if I can, you know, obtain some liquidity here. But at the end of the day, this this could potentially drop like another 60%. So you need to be prepared for that. There, there's no reason. Yes, this gave a 25% bounce, but I'm still telling my team, take profits here. This is a sensible take profit. Why? Because we could reject here and fall all the way back down. Another 60% potentially. Yeah. Am I expecting that? Not really. But I'm prepared for it. And that's the advantage of being a good trader. Yeah. You don't trade your bias. You don't trade what you want. Well, you do to a certain extent. But I'm really open to saying I'm wrong. Yeah. I'm really open to saying, hey, the chart's not doing what I'm expecting. Let's trade what's actually happening.
So if we are breaking supports, I'm not going to just be continuously longing, 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 and just losing and losing and losing and losing. Yeah, I'm going to remain patient for an actual good level of support. And of course, I need to be hedged and shorting if we're, if we're looking for drops. Okay, resistance to the upside. Well, I just showed you our first resistance and it's the level that we are currently rejecting from still. That's obviously around 5,400 sats. We get above this, of course, that's 6,000. Well, it was a rewrote yesterday. 6,500 is a really, really, really big resistance. If we get through 6,500, uh, let me just check here. If we get through 6,000, Okay, so yeah, if we get through that zone of around 6,500, then we'd be looking up to around 7,000 sats. If we get through that, then yes, um, you know, we got these highs and then, then we are looking for another all-time high. Do not get too excited about all-time highs necessarily here on Shiba. This is probably going to take a little while to accumulate. Um, you know, it's going to probably be a bit choppy. Okay, I do expect some chop. So, uh, biggest tips, do not over leverage. If you're over leveraged on these assets, you you're going to probably lose money. It's, you cannot be low for leverage trading this. And I know this is against the norm. Most people, when they do a video, want to advertise leverage because people make money off of other people losing. I'm, I'm going to advise, well, of course, no financial advice in this video, but if I can give you a tip from my heart, it's, it's do not over leverage on these assets because they're extremely volatile. Uh, and it's a hard, the most probability is that you're going to lose money if you're over leveraged. You're going to be too scared to try and long. You're going to be too scared to try and short. This is really volatile. Yeah, you just just do whatever you want, of course. But I would not use high leverage on this. Okay. Um. So that's Shiba. Uh, Twenty minutes on Shiba. This is going to be a long video. I, I did warn you it's going to be a long video, but I, I hope it's worthwhile. I want to cover Bitcoin. Um, but I hope this has been insightful for you to, <laughs> from the journey that we've had on Shiba, from buying it one sat and making millions, crazy, crazy money, from recognizing steps of the way, how we're looking for this to go, recognizing steps of the way, okay, trading those steps, putting money where our mouth is, okay, trading this along each step of the way, explaining high probability trades, giving levels of support seeing levels of support being respected to the absolute dollar on a big daily time frame and the 15 second charts. You know, every time frame that we look at, 25% bounce like that from levels that we're ready and waiting for. I mean, it, it should hopefully be inspir I, I hope people will find this inspirational in a sense of really powerful what you can achieve. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, again, I apologize for the long videos. I myself don't like doing long videos really, but uh, I just want to say like, before we move on to Bitcoin, um, I, I first of all need to say, take care on Shiba. It's a very volatile asset. I mean, people are trying to chase the next Shiba, the next Shiba. People are trying to replicate the success that, you know, myself and others have had on Shiba. But you have to remember, we definitely acknowledged it was a very lucky <laughs> to make the percentage gains that we did. It was extremely lucky. And the likelihood of replicating this success is obviously low. I think you've got a higher probability of replicating the success by just trading slow and steadily on Bitcoin. Um, take that for what you will. That would be my opinion. Uh, don't think you need to see massive percentage gains. If you can make 1% a day on Bitcoin, you are actually set. You, you, you truly are set. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I, I digress on Sheeb. Um, I do think we can put in a wave five. I still hold some of my spot sheep from ages ago. I still have leverage long, obviously, on sheep from from the CC and the one to one. OK, I am prepared to see lower. If I do see lower, I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to continuously long and long and long and long and long. I'll be aware of a swing failure pattern type trade. Otherwise, I'm going to look for lower or a failed auction, of course. Um, just for the people that don't know what this is, it's basically something where you move down below the low and then you reclaim the level, okay? That would obviously be another long setup. But for now, I'm going to remain patient. I'm going to see basically what happens. Do we break this low or are we going to break above the high? This is going to be very influential for me for how the, the rest of the trade goes. If we break up, I know my next level above us. If we break down, I know my next level below us. I'm prepared for every scenario. Um, and that is the sign of a good trader. If you're only prepared for up and it goes down, you get wrecked. If you're only prepared for down and it goes up, you get wrecked. I'm prepared for both ways. Okay. And with that, that's Shiba Inu coin. Now we're going to move on to Bitcoin. If you've enjoyed the walkthrough on Shiba Inu, I want to remind you to smash that like button as hard as you can. Smash the likes. 
share the video with your friends and your family. And, uh, you know, that makes everybody really, really, really happy. And with that said, this is the asset that brings me the most joy, I must admit, and that is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the asset that I absolutely love. I am in love with this asset 100%. <laughs> I love it. So Bitcoin, um, I mean, you might think that this, to, to, to an untrained eye, you might think this looks really choppy chart, up, down, up, down, up, down. To a chart champion member, this honestly looks like an absolute gold mine chart. <laughs> I can tell you that for an absolute fact. Uh, levels being respected absolutely perfectly. Fake outs of patterns, just absolutely brilliant. Levels, you know, the levels are very, very well respected. Overall, we're sideways, we're in a range. Some people are going to get chopped out and overtrade this. Other people are going to take full advantage of this and make a lot of money. I'm in the category right now of trading this very well. Not, not to, not to, you know, not to brag, but it's not that hard to trade if you really are patient and know what you're doing. Jeez. Yeah. Um. Anyway, looking at bitcoin here so again before i get onto what's happening right now briefly i want to keep this short and sweet i want to talk you through what has happened in this section of the chart okay from from the last public video that you that i done as you all know i was talking about this as a very important resistance why 64k was a big resistance well it was obviously our last double top here we saw a swing failure pan and here obviously in the end we see a failed auction um, this was, has been a very big, important resistance for us. For me personally, I had harmonics to short this, had take out of patterns to short this, we had failed auctions to short this, we had trapped longs to short this. So it's obviously a big, 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 big short position. Uh, what was the confluence that we had for for these shorts? Okay. Um, well, this is a this is an idea that I had before. Obviously, we dropped. You remember how I originally took the long here after a fake out of the head and shoulders, e.g take liquidity, get everybody bearish, pump it. Well, from a head and shoulders long to a head and shoulders short, I just found it hilarious. Left shoulder, head, here's the, sorry, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, break the head and shoulders, dump down. Um, you remember when we broke these lows, everybody got really, really bearish. I was looking for longs. Well, guess what happened when we broke the high here? The inverse head and shoulders. Um, quite funny. You start to see things like this. Bitcoin and Ethereum, all in. We start to see, oh my God, like, let's go to the moon. Everybody gets ultra, ultra, ultra bullish on the breakouts. As you know, we, you know, I kind of meme on these people because it's just hilarious. It's it's hilarious. I, I truly believe, again, I'm not trying to, I just, yeah. I mean, people can do what they want, but you have to think, what is their intentions for doing this? It's clearly not a good idea to be longing breakouts in a range bound environment. But I digress and say, um, basically, we were looking for the fake out of the head and shoulders pattern. We get the fake out. Well, in my opinion, we got the fake out of the head and shoulders pattern. We see the failed auction above the highs. And this is what's going to be like really, really cool, I think, to, to show you. As you all know, I am a technical trader on Bitcoin. I trade the analysis. I trade the charts. But what we actually had on Bitcoin was this. Um, we actually had this really interesting um, Fed announcement on. Again, you can see the timestamps here. <laughs> for the and I know people are surprised because I never ever talk about fundamentals. Never, never ever talk about fundamentals. The one time I talked about the fundamentals in since I've been doing this was alerting people that in thirty minutes there's a Fed decision. Okay, so in thirty minutes we got a Fed decision, and what you can see here is we drop right on the Fed decision. So obviously I'm telling people thirty minutes time the Fed decision. You can see here this is half past five half past five we got a fed decision so obviously at six o'clock in half an hour we got that fed decision and i want to show you here what happened on bitcoin okay see this really really big move to the downside it happened right on time right on six o'clock and actually this had nothing to do with the well it had something to do with the fed starting but this was a pre-planned move basically to see a very volatile move and it basically just takes a lot of stop losses it confuses the market greatly um and so it's just like one of these moves that you have to be really 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 prepared for in terms of aware of the volatility aware that it's probably going to you know end badly in the sense it's probably going to 
be very volatile, let's just say that. And obviously it completed that head and shoulders. So from looking down of the fake out of the head and shoulders and the drop to around $60,000, well, we obviously saw the fake out of the head and shoulders. We dropped to around $60,000 and obviously we got a bounce. But the funny thing about this is that it happens to the absolute minute, by the way, to the absolute minute of, of 6 p.m., okay, right on 6 p.m. So we obviously saw the drop and now again, it's got a little bit of a decline another rise, back testing the weekly. So, I mean, what we're looking at here now is overall on Bitcoin, very range bound, very range bound, clear resistance between 64 and $65,000. So you could just write this down, $65,000, big resistance. And obviously big support there is coming in at the very low of the daily around 57,500. So generally we're looking for longs at support. We're looking for shorts up at resistance. Then your intraday levels are still the same as they have been now for many weeks. The weekly level, the weekly level, obviously the monthly level. And, you know, it then comes down to lower term time frame trades. Okay, so low term time frame, you'd be coming down here on, you know, time frames such as the 15 minute chart. We might have seen one here, Fibonacci from low to high. There you go. There's the CC level being respected again. And you can see that this is <laughs> this is uh, into the CC a bounce. So it's it's a really, really, really strong level. Um, and yeah, there that's basically um, that's basically Bitcoin overall. I think that Bitcoin is a lot a lot slower right now. It really is a lot slower. We see basically really strong levels of resistance, really strong levels of support quite slow overall and it's just a case of being patient i'm personally obviously in quite a few short positions at, at the moment um not to say i'm not taking longs because i have taken longs on this i'm just slightly cautious right now while we remain in this quite strong downtrend i think a claim a reclaim of resistance would be a big sign of strength but until that happens i'm playing this a little bit cautious happy to remain in my shorts until I see a sign of strength. Then I'll, you know, happily close my shorts and look for longs. But until that happens, uh, I'm playing the cautious kind of card on Bitcoin. I'm in quite a few shorts right now. Um, where would I look for? Well, of course, this weekly was a massive take profit on shorts because this weekly level is a big, big, big middle of the range. It's a big level of support. Loss of the weekly, we obviously are going to look lower. But as it stands, if we can change this market structure now, we can definitely look back up towards the highs. But you see this, all these continuous lower highs, you want to see that change and you really need to see the claim of 62,500. If you cannot see this claim of 62,500, then of course we look for lower. It's all about trading the probabilities of what's the highest, what's the highest likelihood of the next scenario. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I'm trading Bitcoin, how we come about the idea of those head and shoulders, how it happened, how it's progressed, why we bounced off where we bounced, basically the weekly level taking 60K liquidity, the downtrend that we remain in, the big resistance above us up to around 65K, the big level of support below us, the downtrend to be aware of, even the intraday levels that we can be looking for scalping. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed this video, I want you to smash that like button as hard as you can. Smash that like button as hard as you can. Please, 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 please. If you've enjoyed the video, leave me a comment down below. Uh, even if it's just one to say thank you. I love to read all the comments. I really do. And um, yeah, I think that is about it. That's everything that I wanted to cover. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support that you show. Honestly, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something from it. And yeah, I will catch you in the next video that I produce. Uh, in the meantime, of course, if you want to see more from myself and all of the coaches, chartchampions.com, you can get that all that information obviously over in the Discord, chartchampions.com. The contenders section is really focused on the education, learning everything. In the champions section, that's where you have more of the updates during the day. Um, and so, yeah, if you want to see more, chartchampions.com. For everybody else, hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash the likes and, of course, no financial advice <laughs> from this video. Just an education, entertainment video only. No financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, of course. So uh, just a trader, just a good trader, what can I say? So I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Cheers.